Guys, before this video starts, just want to tell you I am running an full ultimate ticket giveaway. Definitely go and check it out. Link down below in the description. Plus, there will be a card in the right uh, corner of the screen, the little eye icon. Click on that and it will take you to the video, guys. Now, right into your video. Let's get started. Hey guys, that monkey my back here from Nevia. Welcome back to the episode of my daily sniping series. Let's get started, guys. What I want to talk about today is going to be Madden 18. And it's going to be the GOAT edition. Now, when you do pre-order the GOAT edition, you do receive one of five GOAT players that you get to choose. Now, what I want to talk about first off is going to be what overall do I think these GOAT players are going to be. Most likely, I'm going to guess 87 to 90 overall. Most likely 87, but I could see them up to a 90 overall. And that's really going to, you know, kind of beg the question, if they all 90 overall... I kind of feel like, you know, we might see a little bit more of a push toward higher overalls next year than we did this year where, you know, it was like, let's keep to low overalls as long as possible. We might see a push toward higher overalls next year if, in fact, um, these guys are all 90 overall. But starting off, let's say they're 87. 87 overalls, obviously, you know, an 87 overall player. Which player should you choose? You know, we have... Barry Sanders, Tom Brady, Jerry Rice, Dion, and Ray, Ray Lewis. And to be honest, looking at these options, halfbacks, it's very, very challenging to actually take a halfback in the situation when it comes to players. Now, obviously, most people are going to pick the guy that they like the nah, that they like the best. And most of the time, that's going to be, you know, maybe you like Barry, maybe you like Dion, or maybe you like Lewis, or, you know, whatever may be the case. Most people are going to take the guy they like. Now, if you're looking at this as, you know, what guy is the best guy to take for your team, again, halfback, it's very, very important position because when you start off Madden's uh, ultimate team, the one thing you have to do is grind out solos, and you want a good running back to do so. But the problem is, most of the time, any running back with decent to immediate speed can actually do the job 100% fine, and you never have an issue. So to say you should get Barry Sanders, most likely his speed will be pretty decent, but nothing too crazy. And with that in mind, you know, most likely there's going to be a bronze or a silver running back you can get that's going to easily be able to help you grind out those solo challenges and maybe even do a better job than Barry Sanders would do. So second off, Jerry Rice. Um, again, unless you guys personally want to select Jerry Rice or select these players, I wouldn't go with Jerry Rice because he's a one thing, he's a wide receiver. Although, yes, wide receivers are all very important to your team. When you're grinding out solo challenges, which you're going to be doing at the beginning of the Madden, it doesn't really matter to get a wide receiver. Wide receivers are important to football teams, but not to grinding out solo challenges. Uh, most of the time, most solos I've grinded out at least, I've had the crappiest players ever, and they still do a pretty good, if not great job at, you know, getting down the field. And most of the routes I've run, they're wide open anyway, no matter who they are. So, I wouldn't suggest that one. Deion Sanders is actually kind of interesting for one point, because the one point is, like, you know, obvious question. If you get him, you know, he's not good at one support. And starting off Madden, your team's going to be crap, right? So you want a good run support team because you want to be able to stop the computer from running it down your throat. And if you get Dion, he's going to just completely get run over by any single running back in the game. Obviously, he's going to cover any single receiver in the game, which is nice, but he's not going to be able to stop any running back. So that's why Dion, in my opinion, is starting off the game, He's not going to be that amazing because of that fact. I wouldn't get him because, again, solo challenge grind is what we're looking at. Next guy. So, yeah, so Deion Sanders. In my opinion, if you're just looking at the best option, would not go with him. Next option we have here is going to be Tom Brady. Now, Tom Brady actually does bear a very important um, question. Now, the issue is he's not fast, so that's going to you know hurt you when you need a wall out of pocket and those solo challenge type of things because you need that kind of maneuver a quarterback because you're going to have no offensive line to actually protect your quarterback. Obviously, different situations. 
if you open up a lot of packs, you're going to get a good team. Therefore, it's not going to affect you as much. But let's just say you have a crappier line like most people will day one starting off. That's when it's going to really affect you to have this, you know, immobile quarterback and a line that's going to let a guy come in in seconds. So my opinion is, I again, I wouldn't go with Tom Brady. But it does bear an interesting point that he could, you know, you need someone to throw dots. You need someone to get down the field. You need someone who's not just going to throw it, you know, crazy around the field to different lands of, you know, Zelda pretty much. You need someone to throw dots, dot, dots. And that's something that Tom Brady is going to do. And he's going to do it efficiently, effectively, and pretty much every single time you throw the ball it's going to be some kind of a dot. So that is, you know, very interesting. So I would, you know, keep him in mind. But the guy, obviously, as you guys can tell, it's going to be Ray Lewis. To start off the year, Ray Lewis is going to be the guy I recommend you go with. One thing, he's most likely going to have some really good speed. So you're going to be able to use him, cover around the whole entire middle of the field. Second off, he's going to be go by himself and run support. He's going to be able to cover by himself in coverage ability. He's going to have good catching. He's just all around going to be a dominant force that's going to help you out through every single solo challenge you play. So in my opinion, guys, I think you guys should go for Ray Lewis. Tell me your opinion down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.